to our simple object motion tutorial series. This one is with physics and friction. If you haven't seen the object motion template or any of the previous ones, I would recommend checking those out first and you can kind of get a better idea of what's going on here. Um, so what we want to do here is we want to do, it's kind of like spaceship physics where a ship's flying around, but with friction. So let's take a look here. So if I'm going forward, turn, go that way. Notice that it slides to a halt. Okay, so even though I'm turning, there is friction in this universe. So this is a game where you might be looking down. Uh, maybe there's a, you know, a character, you're looking down at a character, and the character is on ice. So it's sliding and then slowly coming to a halt. Okay, so something like that. So you might want to think of that sort of thing. So basically, uh, if you're not sure how the, the physics, the moving part works, check out the previous one called Object Motion uh, with Physics uh, and No Friction. And so what we've done is basically to recap is we have a dx and a dy and a thrust which is the amount of power we're going to go in a certain direction. Uh, we use this formula here to calculate the amount of change in x and the amount of change in y given a certain heading and uh, amount of power or thrust in this case. So to add friction is very very simple. It only takes a few lines. So what I've done is I set the friction for this player class to 0 0.98. So that's, that tells us each time through the loop, through the game loop, we'll lose 2% of our momentum due to friction. And you can play with that number. If it's too high, it goes down really fast. If it's too low, it never stops, or almost never stops, uh, at least in the context of the game. So I've set the friction. So every time I move, basically is I want to reduce my change in x by friction. So I multiply dx times 0 0.98. So let's say, so if my dx was 1, it would go down to 0 0.98. The next time it would go down to 0 0.96 and change. The next time 0 0.94 and change. Okay. Same thing with dy. So basically what happens is that the dx and dy slowly decrease until it gets down to 0. And then the uh, object stops moving. Okay. So basically we're moving here. We're changing our heading with these two methods, and we're changing our acceleration in the x and y planes using this. Again, the math, just copy it down. Uh, if you don't, don't understand, that's fine. I don't quite get it myself. And then you can import the math module uh, to make sure you have the cosine and sine functions as well as pi value. Okay, let's take a look at it one more time. And there we go. And that is it. Stay tuned for more.